Hey guys, it's Jeff here with Scout Survival. I want to do a quick video today on uh, bushcraft pots. There's many different ones out there and um, I have three of them here that I've used and there's pros and cons to each one so I want to go over that. Um, Angus, this video is for you. So we'll start with the smallest one here. The smallest one is this one right here. This is made by Solo Stove. Um, this is 0.8 liters. This is made of stainless steel. It has a nice little handle on top of uh, the lid here that stays up on its own. The lid fits fairly tight, so you can fold out the butterfly handles. You can pour your water like that, but it doesn't have a bale like these two have. A bale is really nice um, because then you can hang your pot over your fire. It doesn't have to be directly in the fire. Um, I like bales. I use uh, my bale on my, uh, my pot all the time. I have some wooden pot hangers that I use, made a few notches in them so I can just hang it over the fire. Um, also, you can use a tripod um, over your fire and you can have a piece of uh, cordage come down with a toggle and you can hang it from the bale. Um, you can't do that with this one. This one has to be on some type of camp stove, a rack, uh, or right in the fire. So this is made by Solo Stove, this one's stainless steel, that's that one. Next one I have here is the Zebra Pot, um, which is made out of stainless steel. This one's about one liter here. Um, this one does have a bale, but it doesn't have the butterfly fold-out handles. Um, this one had plastic clips on each side, so when you lifted the bale up, it locked it into place, kind of. But if you're going to put this in the fire, those are just going to melt, so those were useless. So I took those off as soon as I got it. The lid moves around a little bit here. It does come with a little dish that's in here. Um, I have never used this at all. I don't really have a use for it. I eat right out of the container um, that my food is in or I eat out of the pot. Without that little dish, this lid is really loose. You can see, moves around. Um, another thing about this right here, um, if you're boiling water, you need to pour your water out. Um, it's difficult to pour your water out with this one. You can pour it like this, once you get the lid off, you can pour it like this, but it'll move to one side or the other like that. So it's, it's not really a great way of pouring. Um, there's probably other ways, you know, that I'm not thinking of. Maybe you can get a stick, a fork stick, and lift the back up like that. But um, I really like to have the fold-out handles on the side. And I like a thinner bale. This bale on this one's really wide. It's probably about half inch or a little bit wider. Um, the notches that I make in my pot hangers, this wouldn't fit in there very well at all. So that's the zebra pot. These come in different sizes. Like I said, this one here I think is about one liter. Uh, it's made out of stainless steel. It's tough. It's made well. It's just the lid doesn't fit well on here. It, it falls right off. It'll come right off. And it doesn't have the fold-out butterfly handles on it. So that's that one. And lastly, this one's my favorite right here. This is the Moore's Bush Pot. This one's made out of aluminum. It has the bale on the top that I like, and it stays in place. There's little notches on the side here. So you can fold it down, or you can lock it up and it stays up, which is really nice. It has the fold-out handles. So you can pour your water out this little spout that's uh, right here very easily. You know, of course, with a glove on, these get hot the glove on and the lid fits tightly so it doesn't fall off. You can see it doesn't fall off at all so that's a real plus. Nice tight fitting lid like that. You can see there's the lid and it is made out of aluminum so it's not as tough as stainless steel but um, that doesn't bother me that much. If I could find one of this exact same design that was made out of stainless steel I'd get that. But I don't see one exactly like this. This is 1.8 liters, this one. This is a good size. Sometimes I make soups and stuff like that, and I need this much, this much uh, uh, space and capacity in here so I can cook my soups. You can see it's anodized. This is all black. It's not black from, uh, from the fire, well, even though there's some, some of it's black from the fire, but it comes anodized black, which is nice, makes it easy to clean. Um, this is my favorite by far. I like the size. This is a perfect size. It's not too small, not too large. 
has the bail, which is thin. I can use that on my pot hanging hooks. It has the butterfly handles that fold out. So, it's very nice. Very nice pot. So that's the Moore's pot, 1.8 liters, made out of aluminum. The zebra pot, stainless steel. This is about one liter with a loose lid. Unless you leave the plastic clips on there, and if you put it into the fire, those are going to melt. Like I said, it comes with that dish right there, which I've never used. This might work fine for some people. I also don't like that the handle doesn't lock into place. It just falls over. It doesn't lock straight up, which makes it really nice. If you're going to put that on the fire, it's nice if that, if that bale is straight up. It's much easier to grab. If that's in the fire like that, you've got to reach down low right into the coals to grab that so it doesn't lock up. And lastly was the solo stove bush pot here, which is a nice... Very nice pot, but it doesn't have a bell. And that's it. Hopefully uh, you found this interesting. And uh, if you have any questions at all, you can find me at Scout Survival Group on Facebook. And again, my name is Jeff. Thanks, guys. See ya.